assuming a woman knows that she's pregnant from the very beginning of missing a period mm -hmm. where she's in a position to make decisions about training or not training, training at a given intensity or, or not, um, what are your recommendations? The human body is really interesting. And when you get pregnant, your body tells you what you can do. So we see that you have a reduction in your anaerobic capacity on purpose. Your body's trying to be protective. You do have an expansion of your blood volume. So endurance is really good, but you can't do high intensity. Um, when we're looking at the general guidelines that are out there, they've gotten rid of the heart rate rule. They are now telling women to be as active as they can be without creating injury and without trying to make gains. So that means if you're in the weight room, you're not looking to improve, you're looking to maintain. If you're doing cardiovascular work and you have a specific class that you love to go to, yeah, but don't beat yourself up that you can't hit that high intensity. You're going for the social aspect. You're not trying to gain fitness. You're trying to maintain. I think the very worst possible scenario is someone is super active and stops doing everything because they're afraid because then they get deconditioned and then they end up in a worse state than someone who was sedentary who's now encouraged to walk during exercise. Um, it hasn't been well researched because you can't get ethics to study pregnant women very well. So we go on a lot on um, case studies and case study notes. And the bottom line of it all is you stay active and you can do resistance training, you can do all the cardiovascular work, and your body will tell you what you can and can't do.